When my daughter and I are leaving the house and it's winter time, I usually don't wear a lot of heavy clothing. In fact, all I wear is a vest and my normal attire underneath. And my daughter asks this question every single time. She says, Daddy, aren't you cold? And my response is the same. No, your daddy is colder than the cold. There's a story behind that phrase that I want to use today to inspire you as you seek to achieve your greatness. No matter what you're going through in life, you can grow through it if you focus on the one thing that will help you to be successful in life. And today I'm going to share it with you. I'm Stephen Garner. This is Next Cue. Take your cues from me and live a great life. Let's go, baby. I needed a job real bad. So I started asking my friends, I was filling out applications. And then one of my buddies said, my company is hiring. I filled out the application and I got hired. That was the good news. The bad news was that the job was so far away from where I was living. I had to move in with a relative. I didn't have a car at the time. I didn't have a bike and public transportation. Even when I moved in with my relative, wasn't available to me. Obviously, I didn't think this through, but the type of guy I am, I always tell myself there is a way if you have a will. If you really want to get what you want in life, there is a way. So here it is. It's Sunday night. I have no idea how I'm going to get to this job in the morning. I had to be there at 4 a.m. and it's winter time. So it's not like it's summertime. No bike, I told you. None of my friends are willing to pick me up. And so here I am at my relative's house trying to figure out how am I going to get to work. My first cue today is that you have to have a story that you tell yourself that's bigger than your challenges, that's bigger than your problems. And I told myself I'm colder than the cold. <laughs> I wrapped up, got up at 2.30 a.m. in the morning. I had to travel northeast. My feet hit the pavement. You can hear the snow crunching like crackers. I'm walking in the snow. The wind is blowing. My fingertips are cold. My, my toes are cold. But all along, I said, I'm my own abominable snowman. I'm better than my situation. I've come from great poverty. I've overcome many challenges in life. I'm colder than the cold. And what I want to tell you today is when you are challenged with something, but you have a goal in mind, you have to be bigger than your problems. You have to realize your greatness that day, even even though you haven't reached your destination, you have to be colder than your cold. And so, you know, at that time of the morning, it is, it's not too soon after people have uh, left the bar. Okay. And it's dark, it's cold and I'm walking down the street and sure enough, I see this car. I believe there were multiple people in the car and it felt like I'm not trying to sensationalize this. It felt like they caught my eyes. And then I said to myself, this is not good because I'm from the hood, man. And, and if you see a car full of people who appear to be uh, drunk, you don't want to be in their pathway. And so I started weaving through different streets. I didn't even know where I was going. I had never even been in this neighborhood. And so here I am traveling northeast, no cell phone, no GPS, no map. I'm just using my street smarts. And I know that the company is in this direction with the belief that I'm being pursued by some alcoholics. And so here's my second cue for you today. You have to stay on your road. And sometimes you have to create your own road to get to your destination, even though the territory is not familiar to you. But you don't stop. You don't quit. You don't give up. You don't turn around. You got to be colder than your cold and you have to stay on your own road today. And I don't know where you're going, but you have to be confident in you. You have to talk to you. You have to believe in you. You have to believe that you can make it, but whatever you do, don't stop walking. <laughs> you have to be colder than your cold and you have to stay on your road. And finally, I got to my destination and it wasn't the job that I wanted ideally, right? It's a means to an end. But here is what I told myself. You know what? I'm going to live the story that I want to be told. <laughs> this is my third cue, baby. I'm going to live the story that I want to be told. You know, I don't want to 
a narrative that says he gave up because it was cold outside. He gave up because he didn't have transportation. He gave up because there was a threat in his environment. He quit. He was a coward. He tapped out. He stepped out. He backed up. I don't want that narrative to be told about me. You got to live the story that you want to be told. Eventually, I got a bike because that's what I could afford. You know, life is about, you know, incremental growth. I got the bike. I said, I'm going to ride the bike, even though it was cold. Eventually got warm. I, I saved enough money. I got a car. Now I got a car. And then I got a, another job and I made more money and I kept going and I kept growing. And see, you want to grow through it. You want to do everything in your power to help you to succeed because you every day are living the story that you want to be told. And that's my cue for you today. You got to be colder than the cold. You have to stay on your road and you have to live the story that you want to be told. Don't give up. Don't back off. Don't quit because the going is tough. You be rougher. Be stronger. Be better. Listen, take your cues from me and live a great life. I'm Stephen Garner. Next cue. Let's go.